So Buffy had this lango last night. Xander. I mean, how the lango. No, I don't mean that either. Oh, well, that was really funny looking. Oh. Could you do it again? I'll kill you for that. For that? What were you trying to kill me for before? <laughs> People who think their problems are so huge craze me. Like this time I sort of ran over this girl on her bike. It was the most traumatizing event of my life, and she's trying to make it about her leg. <laughs> we're doing crime here. You don't sneak up during crime. God, he's gonna kill her. You make a very pretty little girl. Anya, you wanna help me with that thing? <laughs> Xander needs help with his thing. Stop touching my magic bone. Costumes, sets, um, the things that you, uh, you know, uh, you, um, you hold them, you touch them, uh, use them. Um... Props? No. Props? Yes. <laughs> oh! Oh, balls. You didn't say it was a gloggle gash, Monique. Because I can't say gloggle. Actually, I have a little Scooby-centric deal to deal with first. I put this before the group. What the hell is it? Appears to be paranormal in origin. How can you tell? Well, it's so shiny. See you in the hell. What are you doing? If you harm me, you shall know the wrath of he that is darkness and terror. Your blood will boil and you will know true suffering. Stand down, she witch. Your defeat is at hand. But she's still a walking corpse. So are you. Mm-mm. Maybe an electrical current combined with an adrenaline boost. For the love of God, can somebody scratch my nose? Ask me a question. Ask me anything. Who's president? We're checking for Buffy, not a concussion. Oh, yes, right. Uh Hi, Mr. Beach. I was just wondering, were you planning on killing a bunch of people tomorrow? Oh, it's for the yearbook. Stealthy. Not my best entrance. I think they were mopping in the halls. Demons, vampires, women in the penitentiary system, none of that freaks me out. But that's exactly what the first does. Find your Achilles heel. No, it just talked to me. What, it does a heel thing too? You don't think it can be done? I, I didn't say that. I might, but not yet. I personally don't think it's possible to come up with a crazier plan. We attack the mayor with hummus. I stand corrected. I'm just trying to keep you safe, I expect. I feel safe with you. <coughs> Take that back! I've been up for 48 hours straight tracking something bad. Now it's come to Sunnydale. My hat has a cow. What if we come across Ben? I don't think a doctor's what Buffy needs right now. Well, yeah. Especially not one who also happens to be Glory. What do you mean? You know, Ben is Glory. You mean... Ben's with Glory? With, in what sense? They're working together? No, no. Ben is Glory, Glory's Ben. They're one and the same. Well, when did all this happen? Not one hour ago. Right here, before your very eyes. Ben came, turned into Glory, snatched the kid and vanished, remember? You do remember. Is everyone here very stoned? Ben, Glory, he's a doctor, she's the beast. Two entirely separate entities sharing one body. It's like a bloody sitcom, surely you remember. So you're saying Ben and Glory have a connection? Yes, obviously, but what kind? <gasps> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was around here somewhere. Well, we'll just keep... Ah! Good lord, are you all right? Peachy, set my knees bend backwards now. It was the most amazing thing I ever saw. I mean, how many guys can... Angel, angel, angel. Does every conversation we have have to come around to that freak? Hey, man, how you doing? 
Alfie, I... Something's happened that... Willow's dead. Hey, Willow. Wait a second. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter. I, in fact, I... Well, I encourage you to, to always uh, challenge me uh, when you feel it's appropriate. You should never be cowed by authority. Except, of course, in this instance, when I'm clearly right and you were clearly wrong. Forged in secrecy for one like you who... I'm sorry. What's your name? Buffy. No, really. 